I did the book basically for two reasons. First of all, all of us grew up with the conception of history that the pioneer period was horses, mules, oxen, and covered wagons crossing the plains. So it was a surprise to me when I learned that, in fact, the frontier really began 50 years before, right after the revolution, and it was down the watersheds of the, of the big inland rivers, the Ohio, the Mississippi, and their tributaries. This fundamentally changed my conception of history, and so I wanted to build a flatboat and go those 2,000 miles from Elizabeth, PA to New Orleans and use the trip as kind of a vessel that I could tell the history through. What surprised me the most was the diversity of the populations, the multiculturalism of America, that people think we've just invented that and we're just talking about it nowadays. Certain people on the far right, you know, they just wanted to find America's there's a bunch of white guys, you know, we're being invaded. No, it was never just a bunch of white guys. It was a very big mix of native peoples and Europeans and, and so forth. I was also very surprised with how quickly a complicated economy burst on the rivers. The speed with which the American economy expanded during this period was extraordinary. It's a feeling of great accomplishment because I started this trip not much of a boater. New airplanes. I, I was a licensed pilot. I had been from a young age, and I knew horses and mules because I'd grown up with them. But I've never been a boatman, and so I had to teach myself a whole new set of skills. That was a very great lesson because I made the mistake of all amateurs that I relied on the advice of people who said they knew what they were doing, and they didn't. We'd be going down the river, and all these people who were supposedly experts. They would tell us, you can't go through those whirlpools on the river because your boat will crash and you'll be sucked along the bottom and you won't even have your underwear on. And when you come back up, you better prepare your family. Things like that, that simply were not accurate. So that, that was the biggest thing I learned, which was that the skills I needed to get down the river resided within me already, but I had to draw them out by experience. That is significant because the flatboat experience which created the American global economy was undertaken by untrained, uneducated farmers. And they had to teach themselves going down the river. And they were completely inexperienced. It was teaching themselves to conquer fear. All right, we're coming into the dock at Audubon Park in New Orleans. What a fitting ending to this glorious trip.